Yeah. Hey. Hey. Yeah. Yeah. Hey. Yeah. We been through a lot. Lord's willing, I'm getting my spot in the kingdom. We winning, no sinning, we not. I'm sending no praise to the man that's up top. Hey. Hey. Yeah. I just been thanking my God. 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 We been through a lot. Lord's willing, I'm getting my spot in the kingdom. We winning, no sinning, we not. I'm sending no praise to the man that's up top. Hey. Yeah, I just been thinking my God, yeah. 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 Why do the heathen rage? Cause we the anointed and I just been praying like every day. I need to meditate. And what is important for me to survive in a daughter race? Why everybody vain? They want us up in that cage. I feel like sending lame. I'm about to bring a change. Christ coming back, they gon' swim in flames. And I got this heat fall to my chest. Is that the name of Israel would no more be in your remembrance. So what did they do? When they colonized them, they said, let's call this entire group of Israelites Nigeria. Hey, Shalom Israel, Most High in Christ, Bless, Deacon Abiel here. We are here in Kumasi, Ghana, and I am completely blown away. As you can see behind me, we have the new school. It's in construction, it's being built from the ground up. Everybody's putting their brick in, y'all. It's your turn. Donate, donate, donate. As you can see where your money go, we're not pocketing your money, we're not driving expensive cars. We are doing the work Most High God put in our heart to do, just like in the book of Nehemiah. You guys out there in all the countries watching, you've been the key to this taking place. Without your donations and your help, we wouldn't be where we're at now. You understand? The Lord says, as you know in Ezekiel, build sanctuaries. This is the first of many Lord's world that we're building. Put your brick in. We need your donations. We need your help. As you all see, this right here is fulfillment of prophecy. The scripture says that this gospel of the kingdom is going to be preached unto the whole world as a witness unto all nations and then shall the end come what you see right here is fulfillment of prophecy put your brick in twiddle your thumbs those of you all that's not here ain't boots on the ground you have a way to help I have a question. Okay, what's your question? You look that India wants to worship idols, but is there Christian in India? Is there what? Is there Christians in India? Yes, there are Christians in India. Why do you ask that question? Because I have to see most of them used to worship idols. Okay. The Indians worship idols. But you know, you should not be worried about the Indians and what they worship. What you should be worried about is who you are and what you are supposed to be worshipping. Do you know what you're supposed to be worshipping? Good. Do you know what Jesus Christ looks like? That's what the brother was trying to show you. Do you know what Jesus Christ looks like? Amongst these two people here, this image and that image, which one is Jesus Christ? Good. So now you know that according to the Bible, Christ looks just like me and you, right? Good. And let me show you something. Because, so who gave us this image? Who? Do you know where that image came from? That image came from the oppressor, the so-called white man, the same man that came and did this to your forefathers, that put them in chains and put them into slavery, and took us all across the four corners of the earth to sell them as slaves. When they came here, they gave you this image so that they can brainwash you, and so that whenever you see the white man, you see God. You know what I mean? When you see how we respect and we like the white, it's all part of the skin. It's all part of the great plan to brainwash us. So he was trying to show you here that what? All the men in the Bible, including King Solomon, was a black man. Have you ever heard that before? Have you ever been taught that? King Solomon in the Bible was a black man. But guess what? We have been deceived to think that all the prophets and Jesus Christ himself were all white men. Okay. All right, read that scripture. Songs of Solomon chapter 1 and verse 5. Thank you, Speaker. Song of Solomon chapter 1 and verse 5. I am black, 
but comely. Solomon said he is what? I am black, but comely. Call out Solomon King. Solomon in the Bible described himself as a black man. Have you ever heard that before? King Solomon was a black man. All the prophets in the Bible were all black men like me and you. But we have been deceived through the lying churches set up by our oppressors to believe that what? Everybody in this Bible is a white man. That's a lie according to the Bible. That's, That's right. That's a lie. Right. So let me show you another prophet. Give me, give me Job chapter 30 and verse 30. And let's see what Job in the Bible. You know Job? You know Job? Have you heard of Job in the Bible? Was he a black man or a white man? Black. How can you prove it? Is it because we are just saying he's black? Good. But let's show you now the proof, the actual proof that all the men in the Bible, including Job, was a what? A black man. Read that. This is the book of Job, chapter 30 and verse 30. My skin is black upon me. Job said, my skin is what? My skin is black upon me. Job was a black man like me and you. Do you understand? Job was a black man. King Solomon, all the Israelites in the Bible were all black men. So we have been deceived to believe that what? The so-called people in the Bible were all white men. But that's a lie. But let me show you that. It was already prophesied... It was already prophesied in the Bible that we were going to forget who we are and that we were going to discontinue from our heritage. Give me that chapter 17. There's a reason why today we stand here today telling you that you are the Israelites and it sounds strange to you. It sounds like a new thing. It was already prophesied from the beginning that we were going to forget who we are, right? And we're going to go under different identities that were given to us by the oppressor. Today we call ourselves Nigerians, Sierra Leoneans, Ghanaians. But before that, who were we back then in this biblical text? When the Bible was, was written, who were we? Read that. The book of Jeremiah, chapter 17, and verse 4. And thou, even thyself, shall discontinue from thy inheritance that I gave thee. He said we are going to discontinue from our heritage. Meaning that what? We are going to stop following our heritage. We are going to stop knowing who we are. We are going to start following other uh, identities that were given to us through slavery and colonialism primarily. Okay? And all this, who is doing this to us? It is the most high God that is doing this to us. Alright. So we, 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 we've tried to show you who? Job, we've tried to show you Solomon in the Bible that they are all black men. How about Jesus Christ? Is Jesus... Hey, brother. Come. Come. Show me something. Come this way. Come this way. Come this way. Let's see what our brother believes. And any of you that haven't been asked this question before. Who is this image here? Who is this person? Can you tell me who this person is? Any of you? Anybody can answer the question. Who is this person? Jesus. Say, say it in the mic. Say it in the mic. Jesus Christ. Jesus Christ. Can you... Do, do, do you know that this image is not has no proof anywhere both in the bible and anywhere are you aware of that okay what we are going to show you today is that this image is a lie this is the image of the beast okay jesus christ is a black man according to the bible That's i want right. to prove it to you he's a man that looks like just like me and you but guess what we will just say our words we will show you from the bible you believe in the bible yeah? my brother what's your name what's your name you believe in the bible Solomon is your name. Do you know that Solomon was a black man? You know? How can you prove that Solomon was a black man? Hmm? Hold on, give me Solomon chapter, Song of Solomon chapter 1 and verse 5. Let me show you that again. I will show you the image of Christ in the Bible. Solomon, all the prophets in the Bible, including Christ himself, were all black men like me and you. Read that. Song of Solomon chapter 1 and verse 5. I am black. But calmly. Solomon says, I am what? I am black, but calmly. Solomon says he is black and handsome, or black and beautiful. Okay? So don't let anybody deceive you. When you watch all those movies that you see, all the people in the Bible are depicted as white men, it is all a lie. It is all who? Your oppressor that is doing this to you. Now go back to Revelation and listen to what Christ looks like. Revelation chapter 1 and verse 14. His head and his hairs. We're white like who? Hey, brother, brother Solomon, are you listening? We are reading the description of Christ in the Bible now, okay? Uh, you know what a description means? Hey, brother, brother, pay attention to me, don't worry. I'll explain everything you don't understand. Do you know what a description is? A description is when you are trying to 
portray what someone looks like. Eh? We are trying to read to you the description of Christ in the Bible now. Okay? Listen attentively and listen, cl listen clearly. Okay? Read that scripture again. Now look at this image as we are reading. Look at this image and look at that image and tell me which of these two fit the description. Is that okay? Can you do that? Okay, listen to the description. Read that. This is the book of Revelations, chapter 1 and verse 14. His head and his hairs were white like wool. He said his head and his hairs were white like wool. Look at these two images. Which one has hair that is white and woolly? This one, right? Good. So we can understand this based on common sense. We are all coming from school. Okay, read on. As white as snow. And his eyes were as a flame of fire. He said his eyes were as a flame of fire, meaning that he had red eyes because Christ drank wine in moderation. Among these two pictures, who has red eyes? This one, right? We are reading the Bible. Remember, this is what? Show them the Bible. Show them what we are reading. The King James Bible. And do you know where we are reading? We are reading the book of Revelation, chapter 1, verse 14. We're reading the book of Revelation chapter 1 and verse 14. Read off the way you stop. And his eyes were as a flame of fire. Three. And his feet. And his feet. He said and his feet. I can see this brother's feet. His, this brother's feet, is it the same color with the rest of his body? It's the same. The color of his leg and the color of his hand is the same, Abby. Good. So we are showing the color of Christ's feet. Now let's see what Christ's color look like. Three. And his feet like unto fine brass. It says his feet like how to find brass. Brass is an element. It's an element in the periodic table. When you look at brass, brass is brown in color. Okay? Any of you that, whenever you go back to school again, go and find out what brass looks like. It is brown in color. But let's see how, how black Christ was. Not just, not just like brass, but let's see how black he was. Eh? And his feet like how to find brass. As if they burn in the furnace. That's if you took that brass and you burnt it in fire. When you burn something in fire, Solomon, what does it what, what does it turn? What color does it turn? It turns what? Black. So according to what we have read to you from the Bible now, what color is Christ? Huh? What color is Christ? Black, exactly. So the question now is who gave us this image to deceive us and to lie to us? The person that gave us, oh, you have a question? You want to answer the question? Yeah. Tell me. Exactly. The white man, the so-called oppressor. Okay? And the oppressor is, is called Esau in the Bible. When you read of the Bible and you hear of Jacob and Esau, we are the descendants of Jacob. Okay? The so-called white man is the descendant of who? Esau. And let me show you from the Bible that we are supposed to be above them. The design from the beginning was that we are supposed to be above Esau. Okay, read Genesis chapter 25. Okay, well, what are we showing you from the Bible? We are showing you right now that we, the so called black man, that went into slavery under the hands of the white man, that suffering colonialism to this day, we are the actual biblical Israelites, the true descendants of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. And we are telling you that what? The reason why we are in this condition is because we are breaking the covenant that we made with the Most High God. And that it's high time for us to repent and come back to keeping those laws so that we can take our rightful position. Nation is men leading by example.